Sarah and welcome back to the Scrappery. Today I have another 8.5 by 11 layout for you. I'm going to start by backing these cut files with this gorgeous watercolor paper that came in the kits. These butterflies are just free from the Silhouette store. I cut them out on ordinary white paper and then I'm going to use my white gel pen to trace around them carefully and cut them out. I like to use the white gel pen because if I accidentally draw on my cut file, I don't end up with any permanent marks of any sort. So now I am just grabbing my favorite little scissors for doing some fussy cutting here, or fine cutting. I will be fussy cutting some of those butterflies in a minute. And like I said, I'm just making sure that I'm going just like about a millimeter and a half on the inside of the lines that I made so I don't have to do too many adjustment cuts at the end. Here I did need to cut a little bit of the middle out there to make sure that there wasn't any poking out. Now I'm going to grab my Tombow Mono Aqua, which has been working great and it's really cheap. It's like $3 US for that big bottle. And that works out okay. And now I am going to cut out the smaller size butterfly with some of the more tealish paper from the bottom part of the paper because it was a fade from a navy to a teal. And I wanted to use the, both colors there. And that one I did a better job on, so I didn't have to do any adjustment cutting at the end there. So once again, grabbing my Tombow Mono Aqua, and I'm going to get that guy all glued on nice. And then here, I don't have a lot of this paper left, but I do have enough to cut out a few of these butterflies. And these butterflies are just begging to be fussy cut. So I'm going to fussy cut a few of those actually off camera because that is, in my opinion, a little redundant and a little bit boring. So here we are. I've got my 8.5 by 11 sheet of white textured cardstock. And I'm going to get my two butterflies on there. And I, I was really wanting to do a centered layout, but I just can't do it with, maybe it's the fact that it's an 8.5 and, and 11 that it just, it, I always want to do something diagonal. So that's kind of what I end up again here. So I've got two of the chipboard frames that came in the kit. One was still had the sticky adhesive on it. One I had to use my Tombow Mono Aqua. And I'm just kind of building up a layer to put that little Instax print on. That was actually this afternoon when I got home from work. My two daughters and I were just sitting on the back steps hanging out because it's just a lovely afternoon. And she was telling me some stories from her adventures in third grade. And I snapped a few pictures of both of my girls. And that one turned out so well. I thought, oh, I'm going to scrapbook that tonight before dinner. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my title. I do not have a lot of my kit left. I've used, oh, I've probably used two-thirds of it up, if not more. I've done, this is probably like my eighth or ninth layout. I've done like three two-page project life spreads, and I think this is my third or fourth 8.5 by 11 layout, so I'm getting a lot of play out of these kits. I was not very careful with my wood veneer there. It did break, and I do manage to get it back together actually without even gluing it. It kind of, the two ends kind of did want to stick together, so I just used a pop dot to stick that up, and then of course my pop dots were in the way of those chipboard letters, so I'm just going to use a little bit of glue on top of the chipboard letters to get the O and the W to stick on there. And then here come some of my fussy cut butterflies, and I did fold them in half a little bit to give them some shadow and some dimension and kind of look like they're about to flutter up off of the page. I also grabbed a really cheap uh, like three quarter inch butterfly punch from my stash and just punched a little bit of vellum from my stash. And I also grabbed my three eighths of an inch little knockout from AC and I used some glitter cardstock from last month to cut out some really, really tiny glittery butterflies. And I'm just getting everybody stuck down there really good and trying to decide how many butterflies I want to get on. And I'm trying to fill up kind of the dead white space in the middle and get most of that covered up. Kind of like the middles of the butterfly there above the O. I want to get something in there. And I'm just trying to decide on my last placement of the butterflies. 
and I want to make sure that I don't have too much pink in one spot. I don't have too much dark blue in one spot. I don't have too much yellow in one spot because I don't have a whole lot of yellow going on in this layout. So I wanted to make sure that everything was kind of evenly spaced. So this is just three little quick strips of journaling I did on my typewriter. I think it says Bella and I sitting on the back step listening to stories about her day. And I used my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter just to type that out on actually some old beautiful mess 9x12 paper that I didn't really like. So I'm just using the back as blank white to do my journaling strips lately. Good tip to use up your stash, I guess. And here I decided that I need one more butterfly to put in that blank part of that wing kind of in the right where I put that one piece right there. I, I decide that's just a little bit too much blank space in the middle and I'm going through all my embellishments trying to figure out what I want to do and I am not really finding the butterfly color that I want to find. So I end up digging around and digging around and finally I do find another whole one of the yellow and red butterflies. The problem is, is that I wasn't really careful when I was cutting out the backing for my cut file. I wasn't really paying attention to what butterflies I wanted to use on the back when I probably should have done that too. So there's another one of those gorgeous yellow and kind of dark pinkish red butterflies. So that evens out my yellow, yellow, pink, pink, blue, blue kind of that I have going on diagonally there. Here I'm grabbing my last little bit of Heidi Shine in my favoriteest bottle ever. I'm going to give it a good sprinkling of that. And now I am doing my best to not stamp upside down this week like I did last week. And I am stamping that with today's date, which is June 5th, 2017. And that is it, ladies. We should be getting new kits fairly soon. I'm pretty sure Rennell will be mailing them out the end of this week. So be checking your post box for that very soon. I hope you guys are enjoying what I'm bringing with, uh, what I'm bringing to you guys today. And look for another video from me next Wednesday. Bye, ladies.